Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today is Wednesday, hump day, <laughs> and I have been so busy this week. I've been just planning on trying to do a tutorial. Not, I don't really know what I would do, just something. I kind of wanted to do something with the Rachel K sometime soon, um, like today and several days. I know I did yesterday. I don't know about the day before, but I've been putting the Dior Air Flash over the Rachel K and has just been gorgeous. I don't know if you can see the finish that it leaves, but it is flawless. And I've been reading reviews and, you know, just thinking about, you know, whether to recommend it and just, you know, just thinking about what to tell you about it. And um, it is expensive. I believe it's like $62 a can. Um, although I did see, I got my two other um, Dior Sparkling Beige lip pencils from Bridget's Boutique. And you can find her on eBay or online. And I saw that she had some of the Air Flash spray. So if you already know what color you use, I think she had it for like 40 something. And um, all three cats are over there in my shipping department. And you can hear that is um, Bubba just shredding paper. Oh goodness. So um, anyway, what was I saying before I was rudely interrupted? So anyway, I do know that it is expensive and I don't know how long it's going to last. And when I think about doing a tutorial with that, honestly, I don't know if I'll be able to do it because you literally have to put your hair back. And what I do is at first I was just spraying it and you spray it in short little sprays and you can feel it like going on your face. It doesn't seem to just go everywhere, especially considering how the mineral foundation just goes everywhere. I can't imagine anything being any messier than that. But I have noticed that you need to, you know, watch out for your hairline. So now I'm having to really put my hand like this and try to not even worry about getting around my hairline so much. And I just don't know if I could do that on camera. I don't know if I want to. <laughs> So, but I can say it is so easy. And if you don't feel comfortable doing that, just spray it on the brush or on the back of your hand. I just love that brush that it comes with. And I had somebody ask, was it any different than the Sigma E, whatever the flat top brush? And I think it is. It seems to not be as stiff and um, I just love it. I don't regret getting that brush a bit. Matter of fact, even when I spray the foundation on, I still go over it with that brush to kind of work it in my skin. So anyway, today I just wanted to do a quick outfit of the day. I wanted to show you these Hue leggings, the corduroy leggings, and I am just wearing them kind of like jeggings. And um, at first I planned on putting like a jacket or something on, but I decided to put this on. I know everybody's wearing pink for breast cancer awareness. And I thought about this and I just love it. And my friend Amanda sent this to me and she got it, I believe, at Nordstrom Rack. And these are normally like $108. It's a Wild Fox sweatshirt and she got it for $79.99. So I told you guys to kind of look out for these because they're just the best, the best sweatshirts ever. And um, oh, something else I wanted to talk about is the Aveda Pure Abundance Hair Potion. I had a few of you say that you went out and bought this and you did not think that it was working as good for you as it does for me. And I thought about it, and this is something that I think, you know, it may be, is I have all of this new hair, this new growth, and I don't know, I wish I could pick up like some of the big pieces. Of course, I've got it hairsprayed now. But anyway, they're about that long. And so now, of course, they're laying down, and I believe that is probably giving me extra volume. But I do know that that product works for a lot of people. So that's the only thing I can think of is why it might be working for me and not for you. What I would say is if you don't like it, I would just try to take it back. You know, it's, I would. <laughs> and uh, last night I used the cur Be Curly style prep instead of the smooth and I didn't like it as much. You can see my hair is much, um, it's, it is a lighter formula. And for me, I think I need the heavier. And let me think of anything else that I wanted to, oh, I know one thing I want to talk about, and I keep meaning to talk about this and I forget, red lips. I have so many of you say, what happened to those red lipsticks? I want to see you wear red lips, you know, all the different things. And I have to say, I tried, I tried, I tried to wear the red lips and I put it on, I get a lipstick that I love. 
I put it on and it look I think it looks good and I love it I think it's so pretty but from that point on every time I see myself in a mirror at a store or look at myself in the car I feel like it ages me 10 years I feel very uncomfortable I feel like a newscaster <laughs> I just don't feel like myself and I I remember when I was at the fashion night out, Tess was doing a makeover on a girl and they got to her lips and Tess looked at the girl and said, what do you like? And the girl said, oh, well, just pick something for me. And she says, well, lips and lipstick and lip color is one of the most private things It's a or personal decisions. It's, it's not what looks good on you or what you think is appropriate for someone to wear or what you think looks good on them. It's what they feel good in. And that is a very personal thing. I think we all, there's some people that just love nudes and you may think they would look better with some color, but if they don't feel good, then what's the point? You know, what's the point of them wearing it? And so that's kind of how I feel about the reds. I did not get rid of all of them. I have a really pretty Le Maitier red that Rhonda sent me that I love. Um, I kept one of the Chanel reds that I love. And um, matter of fact, I've got several red lip liners that I love and one day I may go back to wearing reds but it's not going to be anytime soon because the last time I did it I believe I had gone to church and I had worn a red and then Brooke and I went to Ulta later on that day and I every time I caught myself in the mirror it was just I promised myself right then I am not doing this again so I have enjoyed a lot wearing the pinks and I do think that I look better with a little bit of color and I really enjoyed these mid-tone not bright but not light pinks i've just been loving it and i've just loved beyond belief the dior candy rose lip liner everything every pink that you have looks good over that lip liner i don't know what it is about it and i went to um ulta the other day and bought probably four nyx pink lip pencils just seeing if i could find something similar to tell you that wasn't exp as expensive and i can't find anything so there goes that. I just love it. Love that lip liner. And I've been just filling in my entire lips with it and then putting just anything over it and it looks so good and it just lasts all day. And then I have some lip glosses in my purse that I can put on over it if I don't carry the exact one with me. So enough rambling about that. I just wanted to answer that red lip question once and for all. No, it won't be once and for all, I'm sure. But uh, I'm going to do a quick out for the day and then I have got lots of errands to run today. I, John and I packed up 90 orders last night of Rachel K. And I've got them all sitting here ready to go to the post office. And I would say probably about 20 of those are out of the United States. And I've got to fill out all the customs forms and everything. So I usually end up spending an hour or two at the post office. So if you did order Rachel K, it is on its way. I sent a bunch yesterday. I'm sending a bunch today. Columbus Day kind of put me back because I went all the way up there with all those packages and they were closed. I forgot. And um, I have more on the way. It should be here maybe today, but almost for sure tomorrow. Definitely by Friday. <laughs> and um, I also have swatches of the colors that I will put after this video because they're on another video, but in case you, in case we can't find it, I'll put it, I still have them, so I'll put them on after this okay, video. So today I Be have right on this Wild Fox sweatshirt that Amanda sent me, and it's got the lipstick on it, and I have the one in ivory, and I like this one so much better. I just love the color of it, like the peachy pink, and it's a small, and you will notice when you look at Wild Fox sweatshirts, some of them are very oversized, which I have, I believe my, um, one that says I left my heart in the Hamptons or something. It's a really oversized one and um, But I, I really kind of like the ones like this because I just think they're neater looking and the Leggings I have on are the Hugh corduroy Leggings and you can see they have the pockets and everything and the pockets in the back and just very comfortable and I got the small um, but they are none too big um, I would say if you're a six, get the small, but if you're an eight, get the medium, because I'm about okay. a six right now. And for shoes, I have on the Harrow booties, and um, these are really comfortable, and now I kind of wish that wasn't showing <laughs> as I see it in the camera. But anyway, so this is the look for the day. 
Okay, I officially could not do it. <laughs> I watched the video back because I didn't feel good when I looked in there and I just now switched to my Joe's jeans, which they're skinny jeans anyway, and they are tight as leggings. But um, I didn't like the boots. For some reason, I'm just not. Every time I put on those rag and bone harrow boots, I don't like them as much as I do the Newberry. So anyway, I changed outfits. Um, okay, I just feel better. I don't know what it is. I feel better with the light on the bottom and I know I'm supposed to go all dark, but to me, I feel better in this. So this is what I <laughs> changed into. For earrings, for accessories today. Earrings, I have on these little beautiful earrings that my friend Rhonda sent me. And I, what I love about them is that they're set in gold because most of my rhinestone earrings are set in silver. And I think that might be it. I just have been anti-accessory lately. I've just really enjoyed just my little earrings. And um, let's see, my nail polish is, I just looked at it. It's Chanel and I believe it's called Fascinate, but it's a real pretty, just a, I'd have to say it's more of a peachy color, but with a hint of pink in it, kind of like a corally color. Just, I want, it's ready for some color. And um, the fragrance I have on is Prada Candy. I just love wearing that one, especially with like a sweatshirt or sweatpants. It's just a real easy fragrance. Everybody loves it. And um, I guess that's it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday. And I will see you here probably on Friday. Bye-bye.